Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to look at exponential equations. Let's take a look at what the objectives for this video are. We're going to identify exponential equations and we're also going to spend some time comparing different types of equations and then we're going to solve simple exponential equations. First thing you need to know what are exponential equations? An exponential equation is an equation where the variable is in the exponent or the index, depending on which word you're used to. So here is an example. 2 to the power of x is equal to 16. 3 to the power of x is equal to 27. 4 to the power of x is equal to 64. So today we're going to look at solving these particular equations. But before we do that, let's compare different types of equations. First one that you should be very, very familiar with are linear equations, and they look similar to this one. 2x plus 3 is equal to 15. And what this does, notice that there are no powers, no squares, no cubes, nothing to the power of x. And when I graph it, it's going to give me a simple straight line. Now our quadratic equations, you should also be familiar with this. These look like 2x, well, I'm sorry, x squared plus 3 equals 19. Or if I were to change it, it could be something like 2x squared plus 3x minus 6 is equal to 50. But what's the difference between the linear and the quadratic is this power. The moment I have an x squared term, that's no longer a linear equation and now a quadratic equation. And if I were to graph the function of this, it will not give me a straight line, but a curve. Now, finally, let's look at our exponential equations. 2 to the power of x is equal to 32. This is definitely different from the linear equation because it has a power. The exponential equation is different because it has a power. But notice the difference between the exponential and the quadratic. Now, for my exponential equation, my variable is now in the power or in the exponent. All right? So let's talk about how I would solve simple exponential equations. Step one. I'm going to rewrite the problem using the same base. And we're going to use our laws of exponents, laws of indices to do this. Then once my bases are the same, I can drop the base and set the exponents equal. Once I've done that, I can solve the problem by isolating the variable. It's good to have steps, but I think it's even better to practice. So let's get into a few questions. And of course, I'm going to start super simple. Solve the equation 3 to the power of m is equal to 9. Really, I want to know what is m equal to. So the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite this 9. I know 9 can be rewritten as 3 squared. 3 squared and 9 are the same thing. So 3 to the power of m is equal to 3 squared. Notice what's happening. The bases are the same. And so since the bases are the same, I can set the powers equal to one another. m is equal to 2. And that this one was very simple in that it didn't require an extra step of solving. But that's my very simple exponential equation. Of course, they will all not say that simple. Let's look at another one. What if I have this? Solve the equation. 2 to the power of 3s is equal to 128. First thing I need to do is figure out how can I rewrite 128 as 2 to the power of something. So I'm going to go through my powers of 2. And I'm going to skip forward. So like I know 2 to the power of 5 is 32. 2 to the power of 6 is 64. 2 to the power of 7 is 128. And it's almost like I guessed. 2 to the power of 5, and I just kept going until I got the answer that I wanted. Now, I'm going to rewrite them so they both have the same base. 2 to the power of 3s is equal to 2 to the power of 7. 
Now that the bases are the same, and I know that 2 to the power of 7 is the same thing as 128. Now that I've done that, and the bases are the same, I can drop the base and set the exponents equal to one another. So I'm going to say 3s is equal to 7. Now, unlike the previous one, I have to do a little bit more work because I need to now solve for s. But this is a very simple one-step equation. s is equal to 7 over 3. All right, I, I think this one was a little bit more involved, but let's look at one final question. What if you have this? 2 to the power of 5x is equal to 1024. First thing I need to do is identify 1024 to be 2 to the power of what? So I'm guessing 8. That was my first guess. That wasn't quite correct, but I'm going to keep going. I'm going to check 2 to the power of 9, 5, 12. 2 to the power of 10, that was it exactly. 1024. So this works. I know that 2 to the power of 10 is 1024. So I'm going to rewrite that. So I have 2 to the power of 5x is equal to 2 to the power of 10. And all I did was replace this 1024 with 2 to the power of 10. So I have 5x is equal to 10. And now I can solve this very simple one-step equation. x is equal to 10 over 5. Straightforward, right? And once I finish it off, x is equal to 2. Okay, I think I have one more for this video. And this one is a little bit more involved because notice I have 1 over 81. 9 to the power of 2x is equal to 1 over 81. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is identify how I can rewrite this. Right? So let's look at what I do know. I know that 9 squared is equal to 81. But let's think or let's remember our negative indices. What you should remember is 9 to the power of negative 2 is 1 over 81. And so that's what I'm going to use. 9 to the power of 2x is equal to 9 to the power of negative 2. Now that my bases are exactly the same, they're both 9 to the power of something, I can set the exponents equal to one another. So 2x is equal to negative 2 x is equal to negative 2 divided by 2. x is equal to negative 1. All right, very short video with three or four different examples to show you how to solve very simple exponential equations. I hope that this video helps. And if it did, let me know what you liked about the video, what helped you, or what did you learn, or if you need help with something else. When we talk about exponential equations, you can also let me know that too. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.